Uh, hello everyone and welcome to this uh, explanatory video. Uh, I'm recording for pre-class activity number three. Uh, this morning in the uh, in the workshop, I think one of the students asked me to to upload this video just to explain some of the issues for pre-class activity. I think the pre-class activity uh, three is uh, straightforward, uh, but uh, the issue which I want to talk about is actually liquidity risk and the bank size. Now, the question, the main question is whether uh, big banks hold less liquidity or uh, more liquidity. Um, some of the arguments in the literature say they don't have to have more liquidity because uh, they can access um, the market they can sell CDs, uh, certificate deposit, they can issue bonds, they can borrow from the central bank. Those big banks have actually huge profiles and they can access the, uh, uh, the, the funds if they are under any type of liquidity stress. Um, the other argument says, no, um, actually this liquidity issue is um, a smart management issue. If you manage it, your size is not, is not an issue. We have seen big banks collapse uh, uh, because of this liquidity uh, stress. We have seen Lehman Brothers, we have seen Bank of Victoria in, in, uh, in Australia. We have seen so many banks. We have seen Broken Rock, uh, Northern Rock in the UK. Uh, all of this actually were collapsing because of those. Also, they were big banks. So what I did in this data, actually, this is a real data. And we brought three areas of the world, um, basically from the US and this area of the world, which is Asia Pacific. I, take, I took Malaysia and uh, also I took the, the Far East, which is China, um, very growing my, you know, uh, banking system. And we, I choose the sizes, you know, from each bank, from each area, I choose big bank, small bank, and medium bank. Uh, and then I brought the data, which is this one. So the data, uh, you can, for example, if you want to see Malaysia, you just, you know, um, take Malaysia banks and see them. This is the Malaysia banks. And for the years, if you look at it, um, it's actually, this is the years, you know. I have uh, years before the financial crisis and years after the financial crisis. And the questions of, you know, uh, of this, uh, of this pre-class activity is about some of the years, some of them during the financial crisis, 2009, some of them after the financial crisis, and we are talking about the sizes, as I told you, and we want to see uh, um, uh, whether the size actually make difference or no, not because of this data. This data, the data here does not represent all the banks in the world. It's just, I took three uh, random banks from uh, each country, uh, each, uh, as I said, from each, uh, uh, from each area in the world. So uh, the calculation even is easy. I have only this formula, which is this one. If you want to calculate liquidity position, but do I have to use all this data? The question is no. You can look for the two items that calculate the data and then the two items here, you can you know, check for them. I don't want to tell you about it, but it can, it can be clear here. You can choose the two items and calculate and answer the questions. Now for the question, which is the most important one, which is the say question, is actually talking about what do you think of the, you know, um, size, does, really, does it really matter in terms of uh, liquidity holdings? Um, so you can, in this case, um, this data will not tell you a lot can give you some indication, maybe in Malaysia and China, the US does not give you that indication, but you have to look to some research. You just search about whether size affects liquidity holdings, 
and make um, you know the references and cite your. Uh, uh, you can take any positions, whether size matters or size does not matter, uh, and then and then and then argue your case and bring good argument. This will expose you to you know. Uh, first of all, you see the data about so many banks, and the other things will tell you something about the nature of small banks against, uh, uh, you know, uh, big banks, big banks, medium banks, small banks, in this issue of risk, which is the liquidity risk, who is actually is able to monitor better or to control better. That's all. Thank you very much. And let me stop the sharing. There is nothing much to say in this. Uh, um, and this big class activity, wish you luck, and uh, I hope you do a good job. Thank you very much. Bye-bye um, for now. Bye.